Hey, hey, everyone. Selena here, founder, host, lead educator with the American Crochet Association. You can hear my whole family downstairs, so <laughs> they're here with us. <laughs> If you guys are watching, come on over, say hey, say hello, tell me where you're viewing from. And if you guys have any questions about the not hard to do baby booties crochet pattern, just let me know. And as soon as I see that comment, whether you're here live or on the replay, I will get right back to you. All right. So something that I've been doing at the American Crochet Association is that I am sharing some patterns that I've written over the years that you guys can view for free at the American Crochet Association. And the reason I'm doing that is that I think that certain crochet patterns can be an excellent teaching resource. Uh, so I like to share not just the instructions, I like to share other resources that can help you with these patterns, but also with other patterns that you want to follow as well. So I've been updating all the patterns that I've been sharing. I've got lots of resources that I wanted to get through. So we're gonna start from the top and then just kind of go down from there. So I have linked this particular page to the video description. And that way, if you guys, after this, after you wanna hear my little spiel, my little chat, you guys can click on that link and get everything that I'm saying and more, okay? All right, so first and foremost, um, something that I've added is the table of contents. And what I'm hoping this is gonna do is it's just gonna allow you to quickly and easily find everything that I'm posting. Like I said, all of those resources, everything that's gonna help you with not only this crochet pattern, but other patterns you wanna follow. But then it also gets down to just the instructions if that's all that you're looking for. So I don't want you guys to feel lost or wade through things or anything like that. But I also don't want you to miss important tips and tricks and details that are going to help you with this pattern. So, so that's, that's one new different and interesting thing that I'm adding. And again, you can just click on any one of these and we'll take you right to it. So if you want to learn more about what crochet baby booties are, if you want to learn about the different sizes that are here, um, if you want to see other finished crochet baby booties pattern, this pattern or other finished crochet baby booties, uh, projects, there are about 140 posted so far. Um, so you can see lots of different projects made. You can see different sizes. You can see these booties on different feet and different, you know, different babies. You can see these in different yarns, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So lots of inspiration there. Just, just to click away. Uh, if you guys dig baby patterns, then I've listed quite a few here. So for example, if you just want other patterns kind of in the baby realm, I've just linked a few that you might like. Uh, tips for crocheting the perfect baby booty pattern. This is one pattern that has a right side and a wrong side. Uh, some people like to argue about that just because, you know, it's, it's not just semantics. Sometimes there is a right side and a wrong side to not only crochet stitches, but crochet fabric. Man, the sun wants to, the sun wants to be here with us guys. Um, and this is absolutely, whew, I'm going blind, I'm going blind. There we go. This is absolutely one of those patterns that the stitches have a right side, but also this is worked in joined rounds. So there's very much a right side and a wrong side to the fabric. So this is a great lesson, not just with these particular baby booties, uh, but it's a great lesson for crochet in general. So if you just want to learn more about right side and wrong side, front side and back side in crochet, then this is a great article with more tips for you. Uh, this is another one of those projects where I think this tip is going to be really crucial. Does the chain count as a stitch? Now, this is something that I note in the pattern. I tell you, um, you know, whenever you're starting a new round, um, you know, if you are chaining to start that new round, I tell you whether or not that chain counts as a stitch. So I do give you tips and details about what that means in this particular pattern. But if you guys want even more information about what that means in practice, like, wait, where am I joining? Where am I starting? Where am I putting my stitches? Where am I not putting my stitches? If you guys want even more information so that you guys can follow this pattern and other patterns like this, man, that sun is just brutal. Look at this. <laughs> look at the, look at this sun. <laughs> That's what we get on the live in the afternoon. Uh, this particular tip that I'm sharing with you, um, it goes over the fundamentals of that, but then there's also a photo tutorial so you can kind of pick through oh, this is what it means when the chain counts as a stitch. This is where I work my first stitch. This is where I use stitch markers. This is what happens when it's not. Uh, I also have some uh, professional crochet tips, tips from a professional. I've just been doing it for a real long time. Um, I've made some mistakes and I have figured some things out that just help my projects look more professional. 
So especially since these are such small projects, these little baby booties, if you really just kind of want to learn some things to help every project, including the tiny ones with color changes like this to look professional, then I've got some tips for you. Uh, if you want to just get a PDF version of this pattern, if you don't want to wade through any of this, if you don't want to bookmark this page so you can view it anytime, um, then you can just purchase a PDF on Ravelry. I have a link for you guys to do that if that's what you would like. Um, I also go through great details in terms of like um, what yarn I used, um, you know, how you can substitute yarn. This is one of those projects where it's size essential. So there are quite a few sizes that you can um, follow to make this pattern, but really, you know, the size of the yarn and the size of the hook that you use in your personal attention is, you know, just, just a fraction of a difference is going to be the, the difference between sizes. So this is where I think just having a knowledge of yarn and the yarn that you choose and the yarn that you substitute for this is really going to matter. So if you just want even more details and tips in terms of like how to substitute yarn for this project or any project, I not only have a, a link to yarn sub for the yarn that I use for this pattern, but I also have an article with tips that you can follow. Um, I've also done all of the hard work for you. So if you want to use the exact yarn that I used for the pattern gauge and sizes, you can do that. But if you want some substitutes and you, you know, you, you would like my intake, on what yarns could work best as substitutes, then I've got a list for you um, with links. So if you just want to click on over and buy um, and you don't want to put too much thought into it, then I've got you. Uh, I've got all the materials. So what hook size, you know, everything else that I that I used, everything that you need to, to work up this pattern, I've got that. Um, I've also listed not only the shoe size, but the approximate age. Everybody's different. So just because you are a particular age doesn't mean you're a shoe size. And it doesn't mean that your foot is going to measure something in particular. But I do have three indicators for each size. It's always going to be best to go off of the dimensions. But I think that the dimensions with the um, age and the shoe size, I think that those are helpful as well. Um, here are all the stitches that were used in this. So really there's only one kind of specialty technique and that's the back loop only. Uh, so everything else in this particular pattern is just a very basic stitch in its basic form. So chain, single, double, slip stitch. And then of course stitches are referenced as well. So that is there. So there's nothing complicated in terms of like complicated increasing or decreasing. There's nothing complicated in terms of like specialty stitches or techniques that are just really complex or anything like that. So really, I think the most complex um, item in this particular pattern is just the yarn that you choose, the hook that you use, and your personal tension. This is absolutely something that you could measure as you go so that you can make sure that you're creating the size and the dimensions that you're looking for. Another thing that I've done is that when it comes to the pattern for the crochet baby booties, I've individually listed out each one of the sizes. And that way, if you just want to follow the three month size, I've got all the instructions for you there, but you can quickly and easily find each one of the individual sizes. So the three months, the six months, nine months, 12 months. And then that's it. That's everything that I wanted you guys to know to crochet the not hard to do baby booties. The floor is open. If you guys have any questions, it looks like a few of you guys are here. Like Stacy Till, hello, my friend, says, hi, Selena, watching from Iowa. Just learned that I'll become a grandma in September, so this is perfect. Congratulations to you. Keep us posted, Stacy. That's so exciting. If you guys were here in the beginning of the video and you heard the ruckus downstairs, that was my, my grandchildren and my family. So uh, <laughs> it's great to be a grandparent. Uh, looks like someone else is here. Perfect timing. My great-grandson is on the way. Congratulations to you. I am Jazzy Jude says, I like the new format. I'm so glad. Um, really, the entire reason, again, I'm sharing crochet patterns with the American Crochet Association. I'm not just trying to bombard you with free patterns. I want you guys to learn things. I want you to, to build your crochet knowledge and skill and ability. And I think that, you know, sharing those particular learning points with a pattern like this, I think that it's really just going to help you build your knowledge and skill. And I don't ever want to share a pattern that, that is going to frustrate people or that people are going to feel like they can't get through if they want to. Guys, the sun is, it's just trying to kill me. The sun is just, it's just edging its way ever closer. <laughs> 
This is why I do videos in the morning. This is why that afternoon sun is brutal. All right, guys. So that's all I wanted to share with you. Those are all the tips and the tricks and all of the, um, you know, all of the extra things that are included in this particular article. So that way, again, it's not just a pattern. Uh, but if you want to get straight to the pattern, it's right there in the table of contents. You can quickly and easily find it. But everything that I shared with you, all of the tips and the data points in here, like does the chain count as a stitch? If you want extra tips, professional chips, if tips, if you want it, if you want some chips, this is not the place. <laughs> if you want to see other finished crochet baby booty projects, again, there's over 140 that were posted, then they're right there for you. And guys, if you like this pattern, I would love to hear in the comments. So definitely let me know if you guys thought this pattern was fantastic. You're super excited about it. Maybe, you know, save this video, give it a heart, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> tag a crochet friend in the comments, share this video in at least one place that you enjoy crochet. If you think they will dig it too, I would really appreciate it. And last but not least, if you guys do crochet up a pair of these not hard to do baby booties, I would love to see. So definitely post your projects to Ravelry because that's a place that we can all see while you're building your crochet resume, but definitely come on over to our community and share it there because I love to see the projects that you're working on, especially if they're ones that you found on our site. All right, everybody, that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoy the pattern. Peace, love, crochet. See you next time. Bye-bye.